Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Essie here and welcome guys uh, to another Player Career episode and we are back into the action here. We have the first game uh, against Wolves and obviously we're looking for a good performance. We are looking for some goals and we almost had that here. We were going for the finesse shot. You can see Wolves um, got their bodies in front but just before the 40th minute you can see there I play in a, a square a square pass there. A little bit of a sweaty goal but who cares. It's a goal. Uh, Tutti I think his name is. I'm not too sure. Tuta, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but he scored a goal anyway. And you can see there we got another goal there right before half time. A brilliant shot from our player just outside the box. When you hit those type of shots, you know, you know it's going to end up in the back of the net. No stopping that from the goalkeeper. And uh, those two goals there uh, one from our player, one for assist from our player as well. So that set us going 2 0 um, into this half time. And you can see that there wasn't many chances um, in this half. Uh, there were chances, but there weren't clear chances like we had in the first half. Um, and you can see here, uh, Wolves did get a goal in the 86 minutes. So these last few minutes of the game were a little bit shaky because um, we did want to avoid Wolves getting the equaliser. But we did hold them off till the end. And we did hold on to get the 2-1 victory against Wolves. And you can see a match rating was 9.6. Um, a very good match performance from us. Obviously getting that goal and getting an assist as well. And uh, that was a very good performance. And we were obviously looking to carry that on um, with this very big game against Leicester. Leicester are doing very good um, so far in this league. I think they were undefeated in the last three games. And I think they were in the mid-table. I think they were 6th or 7th place. So they were doing pretty good. And that showed here from the set piece. I wasn't expecting them to do this. Uh, Marshall uh, stepped up take it. But they had a little bit of a different idea. And you can see there, very good set piece um, from Leicester. King scoring from it. And that gave them a 1-0 lead. And I knew obviously looking to get back from there. You can see 28th minute putting across there. But the Leicester defence just wasn't giving anything away. And 36th minute broke through here. Took a shot. And look at that for the shot, guys. 36th minute. I'm getting used to scoring these long shots. Um, you can see just cut it a little bit. Cut, uh, cut it back inside. And then just take it from our, uh, our right foot. And I have seemed to be scoring a lot of long shots with our right foot. It's becoming my favourite type of goal at the moment. But... Um, Without equaliser, uh, that sent us going into one all into half time, and this half you can see we had a really good opportunity there. Maybe that uh, that angle was a little bit hard for our player, but the Leicester goalkeeper was on top form. Um, I had two really big chances, and uh, these two shots when I hit them, I thought, well, that must be a goal. But you can see the Leicester goalkeeper had other ideas and saved them both. So I thought, well, we're heading for a draw. I mean, that's not the worst result against Leicester, is it? 90th minute here, we have a counter attack. Our player hits in a nice ball uh, to Thomas. Thomas hits it back. And boom, there we go, guys. 90th minute winner from our player. Uh, you can see a really good team goal. I think I was probably the best team goal I've scored um, with our player. I mean, in terms of the passing, the 1 2 passing, um, and the good finish from us, and especially the time as well, and the situation we were in for a winner. You know, that probably is the best goal I've scored. And that is definitely one of the best performances I have done as well. You can see two goals against Leicester and a 9.7 match rate, and I was really pleased about that. And uh, ne this this next game was against Blackpool just two days after. Um, I was glad I wasn't playing because we were obviously low on energy. So uh, we were on the we weren't playing and we did have to sim it. Um, and unfortunately, we just couldn't keep our running form, our good uh, good win form uh, going on. You can see we lost two 0 against Blackpool. And uh, you can see we had a match report, and you can see we just smashed all of the man. You know, we passed all of those three easily, and um, because of those very good match match performances. Um, in those previous matches and uh, I was obviously looking to continue those perf uh, performances against Sheffield United now I was stupid I, as I was I didn't notice I had snow on and I hate the snow in this game because um, you can't seem to do anything and it did kind of seem to affect my player in this match because when I was shooting it was kind of skidding off my boot and it just it was just going everywhere and um, you can see it showed in the first half um, there wasn't many clear chances. Like I said earlier, the shooting just wasn't quite there with the snow because um, I did find it quite difficult. And we needed to go from somewhere. And you can see Emmanuel Thomas, um, quite a surprise goal. I wasn't expecting him to do that. I wasn't expecting him to take a shot from there. But you can see um, it was a very good result because it did get us uh, a goal after a very quiet um, first 60 minutes in the game. Um, 90th minute here. I tried to put in a through ball, but I went to the goalkeeper. And you can see it almost actually ended up as a goal. But um, it did end 1-0 to us. Um, and you can see match rate in 6.5, um, <laughs> not a very good match performance, but um, I, I think uh, I think I could use the, the, the snow as a good excuse, but still, you know, we didn't really play the best either. Um, next game here against Watford, Watford were on the bottom of the table, I think they were in 20th place, so we were expecting to win this game, but they surprised us in the first few minutes of the game here, 8th minute hog, 
what a goal that was. I wasn't expecting him to hit the volley as sweet as that. Um, the goalkeeper did do very, uh, very well to actually get a glove on that, but um, the power behind that was just too much for our goalkeeper. Uh, and that gave Watford their first goal um, of the game. And you can see I just kept on pushing back, but the Watford goalkeeper was on very good form. Um, I had a few shots um, in kind of that angle where I normally shoot from. And I actually normally score from, but this uh, this Watford goalkeeper had other ideas. And right before half time, we actually had a flurry of uh, of chances. You can see we just kept the pressure on. Thomas got in a good position, but you can see he just couldn't finish that one off, as it did hit the post. Um, and you can see we just kept the pressure on. But what Watford's defence was just uh, was just excellent in this game. They were just throwing their bodies in front, and they just weren't giving anything away. Uh, first half it was one 0 to Watford, and we were obviously looking to continue that momentum and continue all of that pressure on Watford and um, unfortunately again Watford was just equal you can see here we did eventually get the shot off but again the Watford goalkeeper was on top form and I guess I didn't help the situation either because I wasn't doing that well in this game um, you can see some of my shots weren't the best either um, and uh, Watford did get on the counter attack a uh, good initial save from our goalkeeper but he just couldn't finish that uh, couldn't save that second one from Hogg he was doing very well in this match obviously getting a second uh, second goal of the game um, his second obviously come in in the 90th minute and uh, that gave Watford uh, full time a 2-0 victory um, over us which wasn't the best of result. you can see match rating pretty average as well 7.1 um, it was a match uh, a match we, we obviously expected to win um, but obviously we didn't and um, we wanted to return to that winning form we had at the beginning of this episode uh, with this match against Bristol City <laughs> and you can see that that shot from Emmanuel Thomas I mean come on um, but I didn't have much to say about Emmanuel Thomas' shot because you can see I couldn't pull off a very good shot either. But um, later in, late in the, the the first half, I found Emmanuel Thomas with a good ball. And you can see Emmanuel Thomas, a brilliant finish from him. He's been on very good form lately. He scored, I think, two in his last uh, last game as well. So that was a very good finish uh, from a, a man who was on very good form. And that gave us... Um, a 1-0 lead over Bristol City and Bristol City didn't have many chances in the first half the only chance came there right before half time you can see it was an easy save for our goalkeeper and uh, with that Emmanuel Thomas goal we went in 1-0 uh, we had a 1-0 uh, advantage over Bristol City and uh, there wasn't many chances in the second half that was the only chance there um, and that obviously meant that we did eventually win that match 1-0 uh, of Bristol, it wasn't uh, really the best game to see, but the most important thing is that we got the three points. And we were obviously looking to, c to continue that uh, that winning form uh, with this game against Middlesbrough. And you can see we started off very good here, putting Emmanuel Thomas through. Uh, Emmanuel Thomas, with the form he's been on, you would expect him to finish that, but um, unfortunately the defenders forced him on his right foot, uh, his left foot, and he just couldn't finish that one off. But in the 17th minute year, um, I take a good, uh, I take a shot, and you can see... Um, it was the right right result. You can see just smashing it into the far post and the goalkeeper had no chance of that. And that gave us the 1-0 lead um, over at Mill, uh, Millsborough. And throughout this first half, we just kept on the pressure and it just kept on taking shots at the goalkeeper. And I thought, well, come on, one one must go in. And uh, right before half time here, yeah, one did just creep in. Uh, I think the defenders probably put the goalkeeper off a little bit then. So I was glad to get that, that goal because it did get us our second goal of the game and gave us a 2-0 lead over Middlesbrough. Um, going into half time, so we had a good solid lead um, going into this half, but we did get injured in the second half, so that wasn't good news. Um, unfortunately, as I was controlling the home team, I'm not the best player, and Ebenez did score, but I did hold on uh, for our 2 1 victory. Um, and you can see Matt Train in 9.8 match Train, which is uh, very good to see, and I think that is our highest ever match Train, so that was. A very good performance from our player and as a whole team as well because he did pick up the whole, uh, the, 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 the three points. Um, and you could see manager notes, we met three out of four of them. Uh, goals to conversion percentage wasn't the best. I think we only missed out by 3%. So um, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really too concerned about that. And I guess all of the other objectives we killed. So um, overall, this episode has been a very good, uh, very good performances from us. And hopefully we can do so in the future. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please be sure to leave me like. It really does help me out. Uh, please uh, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below as well if you want to discuss anything uh, about player career. And if you haven't already, please, please feel free to subscribe because I have a lot more content coming. And I will see you now in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.